Tapping the wisdom found underneath gray hairs. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Mana to Live By. One day, at a time. Five minute devotionals. Today is April 28th. Today's reading is from Proverbs chapter 4 verse 1. Here, my children, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding. In the first four verses of Proverbs chapter 4, Solomon describes how good advice can and should be passed down from one generation to another. He tells how his father had taught him, then urges his son in turn, to pay attention to good doctrine, and sound instruction. It is sensible for young people, to learn as much as possible from their earthly parents concerning the practical affairs of life. But it is also true that in the spiritual sphere, every young Christian should have a spiritual mentor, that is, someone to whom he can go with his questions, someone in whom he can confide, someone who will share from a rich store of experience, and someone, who will be candid in dealing with areas of need. If a parent can fill this role, all the better. But if not, someone else should be sought out. Godly, mature believers, have accumulated a vast amount of practical knowledge. No doubt, they have experienced defeats, but they have learned valuable lessons from them, and have learned how to avoid them the next time. Older Christians can often see aspects of a problem that young people might miss. And they have learned to be balanced, and to avoid unreasonable extremes. A wise, young Timothy will cultivate a Paul, trying to draw on his wisdom and know-how. He will save himself from humiliations and blunders by checking first with someone who has been through it before him. Instead of treating old age with contempt, he will honor those who have fought in the conflict and have maintained a good record. Generally speaking, older saints will not push themselves on the young. They know that no advice is as unwelcome as advice that is unsolicited. But, when asked, they are always glad to share insights that have been of help to them along the way. So, whether a young person is having a struggle with lust, or wants to know how to find God's guidance, or seeks to raise a family for the Lord, or wonders if God is calling him to the mission field, or needs help in managing his finances, or longs for a more effective prayer life, he would be wise to seek the help of a spiritual guide who can bring the light of scripture to shine on the particular problem. Underneath those gray hairs, there is often a fund of wisdom to be tapped. Why learn the hard way? When you can profit from the insights and past experience of others. Let us pray, Heavenly Father. We thank you for our parents, as well as spiritual guides, whom you have provided in our life, and for our spiritual edification. Help us, Lord, to appreciate your provisions, and be good stewards to pass on the knowledge to others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. Today's devotional, originally written by William MacDonald. Adapted and developed as Mana to Live By, 5M Devotionals, for audio and video screen by John Benjamin. Bengrace at gmail.com. For previous day's devotionals, please click the channel link given in the description box below. To God be the glory. Tapping the wisdom found underneath gray hairs.